Hello guys, thank you so much for clicking on today's video and welcome to my channel. In today's video, OP is pregnant with her third child with her husband and she decides to surprise him at a hotel that he's been staying at while traveling for work. Unfortunately, he isn't there and in trying to figure out where he's been, she found out a horrible secret. I do hope that you enjoy this story. If you do, please give it a thumbs up. Anyways, on to the story. I, 29-year-old female, recently learned that my husband, who's a 34-year-old male, has another family. My husband and I had a very fast courtship and engagement. We met and married within 11 months and have been married for 4 months in March. My husband has a job that requires him to travel a lot. Without giving too much information, He's a vice president of sales for a company that produces something that's in every household and building in America, so he's constantly working and on the road about 50% of the time. I entered our marriage knowing this and have never had an issue. I learned about 7 months after our wedding that he had actually been engaged to someone else. Let's call her Amanda, at the time that we met. He claimed that he was worried about hurting her as they had been together since high school. However, what hurt me the most is that he didn't call off the engagement until he proposed to me. We've worked through that issue thanks to therapy and we continue to still go to therapy. Early last week, I discovered that I was pregnant with our third child. He was out of town so I thought it would be fun to surprise him with the news at his hotel. So I planned on getting a cake with the, you're going to be a dad, again, delivered to his hotel. I called the hotel asking how I could go about this and was told that they didn't have him staying at that hotel. I assumed that I had messed up where he was staying, but I know his company would only put him in that hotel group. I have, admittedly, overlooked some red flags and realized something was going on. I know he's dumb enough to keep all of his passwords the same, and I know our password for Netflix, etc. So I logged onto his Facebook and Instagram to snoop. While snooping, I found DMs from Amanda that were flirty and she had been tagging him in stories. I called him up and asked him if there was anything that he wanted to tell me. He said absolutely not and I said that are you sure because I know that you're not staying at X hotel because I was trying to surprise you with something. After now being together, I can pick up on some of his lying tells and when he tried to tell me that he was somewhere else, I called him out on his tell and he said that he would be home that night and that we could talk. I assumed that he was coming home to tell me that he and Amanda were seeing each other, but instead, he told me that he's been having an affair with a woman, who we will call Sarah, and Sarah and him have two kids together. He was with her and has not been going on as many work trips since COVID started. The kicker is, he started seeing Sarah while still engaged to Amanda and his kids with her are six and one who will be four a week before our four years anniversary. He and Sarah both claim that they haven't slept together since their youngest was conceived. He was seeing both Sarah, Amanda and I at once in the beginning of our relationship. I asked him about his DMs with Amanda and he said that they had reconnected at his 15 year reunion last year, which I didn't go to because I had just given birth two nights before and had been hanging out with his old high school friends. I'm absolutely devastated and confused. I gave birth to our first son January of 2020, our second son June of 2021, and like I said, I'm currently pregnant with our third. The betrayal goes further with the fact that his mother has been helping him hide his secret from everyone. She has been the best grandmother to my boys and is very active in their life, and helps me with cleaning our home and giving me time to do things away from the kids. She knew every time he was going to go and see Sarah and their kids and never once told me. I'm coming to the realization that everything in my world revolves around him. I can't even begin to talk to my friends about this because all of my friends are his friends' wives. I feel like I'm this big joke to his friends and family and I'm not sure how to change that. I don't have a job because I quit it to be able to travel with him when we got engaged. I feel like I'm stuck and I don't know how to get out. Has anyone left a marriage not knowing where to go or how to survive? Thank you to everyone who's reached out, even if some of your messages were a little odd. 
I do get that marrying someone in 11 months is fast, but I know many people who have dated far less and have been married for over 30 years. It's not like I can go back and fix it now. I'll answer a few questions I saw because I have no real update. 1. I am married to him. I handled all of our wedding paperwork. 2. His high school reunion was at a bar slash restaurant downtown. We live in his hometown. He wanted to go and I'm incredibly introverted. I like being alone and I didn't mind being alone with our newborn as our oldest was with his grandmother. I also want to make it clear, I did not know about Amanda when we got married. I knew he had an ex-girlfriend from high school but he told me that he ended it. He lied to everyone about ending it with her. I found about it 7 months into our marriage. At that time, I knew that Amanda had some issues and he spent it as, quote unquote, I knew it was you but I couldn't hurt her. I am officially a single woman as of today. I want to thank everyone who commented and those who reached out with their ideas and those who have been in the same situation I was in. I took photos of all of the infidelity and lies. One of his friends got me a good divorce lawyer and my ex knew that he was effed from the start so it was speedy and he gave me half of everything and is paying for far more than I expected for child support and is granting me spousal support for a while. I reached out to a few of the wives when I found things out and shockingly, his friend group picked me and not him. That was the most surprising thing out of this. These are friends that he'd had for over 20 years and they opened up a lot about his behavior. And a few of the wives were actually getting ready to tell me about his flirty encounters with Amanda, but as a mom with two kids under two, they were concerned with my mental health and were going to tell me at the end of the month at a mom's getaway we were having. I didn't have a job when I left. But one of his friend's wives owns a marketing company, which is what my job was before we got married, and told me that when I was ready, she'd have a job ready for me. I started that job back in April and have actually been enjoying it. I'm still pregnant. That was a decision I made on my own. I love being a mom and my boys are my world. I was going back and forth on it, but I truly love our children. It was not an easy decision to come to, but I'll figure it out one day at a time like I have for the last 6 months. The good thing that came out of all of this is that it actually had me call my parents. My parents and I have never had the best relationship. I left home at 18 and moved halfway across the country. Where I live now is only a 4 hours drive from my parents and I've seen them only once outside of my wedding since I moved here. My mom dropped her whole life when I called her. She doesn't have the healthiest life when she's alone, so about 8 weeks after my reddit post, I asked if she wanted to move here and help me take care of the kids, under specific conditions, and she agreed and has been doing so much better, and our relationship is slowly growing to become a healthy, kind one. Thankfully, our kids are young, the boys are 2 and 1, so they'll only really know mom and dad weren't together. He's a wonderful dad. I've tried my hardest to be the bigger person and I've even had Sarah and her kids over so that he can have all of his kids together. He's as great as a dad to her kids as he is to mine. I had a few people reach out to me who have half siblings from affairs and they gave me great insight. I will do my best to keep my kids around Sarah's kids. I'm still in therapy and do not ever plan on giving that up. To answer the number one question I caught. Why did I let my husband go to his high school reunion when I had just given birth? Have you all seen that video on YouTube of like, quote unquote, the guy who never left his hometown? That is my ex in a nutshell. I would rather him go out for 4 hours to give me alone time with our newborn than hear from him about how he missed his high school reunion for what I thought was going to be the rest of my life. Our older son was with my grandma that night anyway, so it was just me and the babe. I wasn't going to complain someone wasn't in my way for 4 hours. So guys, what did you think about this? Honestly, I think that OP is amazing. I don't know what I would have done if I was in her situation but she seems to have her life together and the future looks amazing for her. I really do wish her the best. I thought that the timeline was a little confusing so I was able to find a comment that sort of clarified it and I'd like to go over it here. So, the husband is engaged to Amanda. 
Husband starts seeing Sarah and fathers the first child with her while still engaged to Amanda. Husband meets the OP, still engaged to Amanda and seeing Sarah and the kid. Husband fathers second child with Sarah approximately two months into their courtship with OP, still seeing kid number one. Husband breaks off engagement with Amanda and proposes to OP. Not exactly clear when this happens. Sarah's second child is born one week before OP and the husband's wedding. OP has her first child in January of 2020. Husband is still visiting Sarah and their kids. OP has her second child in June of 2021. Husband reconnects with Amanda at this time and he's still visiting Sarah and their kids. Husband then fathers a third child with OP in January, February 2022-ish, still visiting Sarah and the kids, and at a minimum flirting with Amanda, and this is when OP finds out about everything. Honestly, this just goes to show how scummy the husband is. Why do people like this get into like a committed relationship? Just don't do that. And also, where are you getting the money to father so many children? I just can't. Oh my god. Anyways, I do hope that you enjoyed the story. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and please subscribe if you'd like to hear more stories from Reddit with updates.